Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. First part was kind of off to a rough start, you know, with all the coughing and stuff, but this time around, I don't seem to be like all over the place with <coughs> kind of thing today. Which is good, because now, and now that I've actually turned the TV down a bit, I can focus a bit more. Shall the line of books on Pokemon. These shelves are also lined with books on Pokemon. Because what else would you have to see in Pokemon? VC can be used not only to see the progress, but also to access the Pokemon story system. Things sure have become easy and convenient. <laughs> Like in my day, we didn't have that shit. Did they have? Did they probably had Pokemon storage in the original. Surely, otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense. Hey, PK, look, look, this is really neat. See, it's a map of Phoenix City, isn't it cool? Too bad you can't really do anything with it. Town's layout is displayed. Oh, you must be travelers, are your Pokemon trainers too? I knew it, I was certain that you were. Well, if you want to make a record of your progress, you can save on the PC at the back. The PC at my Pokemon Center is available for use by any train. Well, any Pokemon Center, whatever. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Well, we do technically in a way, I suppose. Okay, I'll take a Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Of course, all the other times you come to the Pokemon Center, it'll probably just be like freaking A button, A button, A button. You know, the usual thing. Okay, see down here, see this woman here. I'm terribly sorry, we're still getting things ready. Please come back again later. Basically, after you completed the story, main story in game here you'll be able to trade from pokemon ruby sapphire emerald leaf green and fire red and this is the type of thing that i had to do to trade pokemon from each game to the other because i didn't have two game by advances and didn't have the thing to connect with i like did i just uh, did not use it so i ended up using this instead it was very inconvenient, but it worked, it worked. That's all that matters. Shall the land with books on Pokemon? Of course we... Well, technically... Where is my Game Boy Advance, anyway? I I know it's, got, it's pretty much got a crack on the screen, so I can't even see anything on there. But even with that, I could still trade Pokemon using that. If I can find my Game Boy Advance by the end of the LP, I might even trade some Pokemon over here show it on screen since I'm not I don't need to use an emulator for this because I'm playing it on the console itself. Wait, what am I doing? Do 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 So yeah there's that as well. It might actually be pretty good to do that because you might get some really stronger Pokemon for like when we go to uh, Mount Battle on the battle mode thing where everyone has like six Pokemon and they're usually very strong and stuff. Did we talk to this guy? It's a Meru. There was some ruckus going on near this town's entrance earlier. There better not be the goons again from the next town over. This guy's always running around here. Hey, it's, it's not the good-looking couple from earlier. So what's up? Did you manage to find anything out? No. Is that right? Uh, that's gotta be vexing. I know, if it's about Pokemon, there's the pre-gym. It's actually called, uh... Uh, Prisage... Prisage Center, Enter, but everyone just calls the pre-gym. Pre-gym is a place where skilled trainers work on their own abilities, as well as their Pokemon. You'll find many trainers there who are knowledgeable about Pokemon. I'm sure they can help you. The free gym is on the raised middle side part of the town, so you should visit them. Ah, uh, it's really difficult to freaking... Well, we don't even need to talk to the Pokemon now, do we? Just has whatever. 
you're still traveling, you should stock up on supplies and shop there. I recommend it after all, it's my ha- uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, anyway, that shop has the best reputation around these parts. It's because it's the only shop around these parts. Music's beautiful here, isn't it? Oh, hi, you two, we just noticed, but the truck that was here is gone. Those folks must have come back and taken off in it. I bet they came from Pirate Town, I'm sure of it. Here at Pirate, I'm not entirely sure. What fine weather this is. It's truly a perfect sort of day for a Pokemon man. So, young one, how about indulging this old man? Let us battle. Sure, bring it on, old man. Bring it on, old timer. Fun old man drinks. What a weird name. Hoot hoot and the centric. I love the guitar in this track, I really do. This game has some really awesome guitar music. Really awesome stuff. Upgrid always seems to be a higher level than Estrid. But it's pretty obvious it's like that way right from the start, isn't it? Who it's a psychic type as well as a flying type, right? I can't remember. When it comes to tabs for Pokemon games, it's like every Pokemon game almost, except for Colosseum. Which makes no sense, because Pokemon Colosseum has some really awesome guitar work, while the other ones don't really have much on guitar, really. It's just like, why not? It's like it would be freaking awesome. But... Why? Just why? Somebody tab some of these awesome guitar tracks, because while I can't learn things by ear, it's kind of like, it's like a kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Sometimes I like figure out how to play something on the spot, sometimes not. Oh no! Oh, this is good actually. That I can show you something that should be applied to all of Pokemon games because it's very convenient, but kind of makes an item completely useless. When you can do this, when every Pokemon falls asleep, just call it. I go call Despion. Despion! And he eagerly responds and wakes up. How convenient is that? It makes they're kind of pointless to have like the awakening item and stuff like that. When you can just call your Pokemon. Why you can't other trainers in other Pokemon games think to do that? Save money, you know. Well, I've got to concede this one, lad. Pretty nifty, eh? Ah, yes, you're young, but you've got a bit of spine. Why, you're just like me when I was young. Well done, indeed. Well... We should probably just advance the plot a little first. Uh, see that kid up there, like all the way on the far up here? He's also a trainer. You don't really seem to encounter many Pokemon trainers outside of like, uh, like in the next town over in Pirate Town. There are trainers that will challenge you to battles and stuff like that. We'll get to that when we get to it. Shouldn't be too long from now, really. You're a traveling trainer. Hmm. I like what I see in your expression. <laughs> I have a feeling I may see you again somewhere. Well, naturally, I mean, look at that guy. He doesn't look like just some guy you would just like encounter just randomly and not see him again. He's obviously the villain. Obvious! It's too damn obvious. He looks too shady to not be. Look at this goofy old guy. Ah, you must be travelers. Welcome to Phoenix City. I am Eske, aide the mayor. Kind of name is Eske, seriously. Are you wanted to see me? Is there something that I may be able to assist you with? 
Also, by the way, with this game, no spoilers in the comments, please. I always have to point this out, and rarely people ever put spoilers in the comments anyway, because uh, I don't really get many views on my videos compared to a lot of other people. Um, uh... Oh, what may I do for a pretty young lady like you? I, I saw it. Saw it, and what did you see? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave up a black aura. It was like a fighting machine. It was like a bird that wouldn't shut the fuck up! Echo! And that Pokemon would attack people. Oh, oh my! Pokemon like a fighting machine, and it attacks people. Maybe it's that freaking bird. Now, if that were true, that would be truly frightening. However, it's a little hard to believe. Not really. I mean, a Pokemon that attacks people, isn't that kind of normal? I mean, what, really, when you think about it, in any normal Pokemon game, you walk through a bunch of tall grass, and Pokemon just randomly appear and battle you, right? And you need a Pokemon with you at all times to be able to, like, take its challenge up and stuff. So technically, the Pokemon are always attacking you. It's just you've always got a Pokemon to defend yourself with. It doesn't make any sense. But in this case, it's a bit different. Somehow, somewhat. Echo, seriously, you're getting on my nerves with this. It's true, it's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon. I was made the prisoner of some frightening man and men until just a little while ago. <coughs> Sorry, I had a bit of a cough going there. Hmm, I see, I understand. I will order an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, no, no, there is no need for thanks. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish, especially thugs that endanger a pretty young lady like you. I'll ask that you give me a little time on this matter. I promise we will get some useful information for you. Oh, yes. You appear to be Pokemon trainers yourself. If so, I urge you to visit our city's pride and joy, our Pokemon Stadium. It's a breathtakingly beautiful stadium. Be <coughs> <coughs> Damn it, the cough is returned. Befitting our oasis city. And we get to walk again, we get to walk again. Oh, this microphone's made all over the place. This music is so goofy, it's it's freaking awesome. I promise you we will obtain useful information about those sinister people. Pokemon, whatever. While we do so, I heartily recommend that you visit our stadium, the symbol of our civic pride. I'm gonna go talk to your wife who has absolutely no purpose in the plot in any way. Oh hi, aren't you a cute guy? <laughs> it must be nice to travel with a cute girlfriend. The, like nobody clears up this misunderstanding ever. It's like they don't want to. Or just don't care. Either way, one or two. Fighting Seriously, that bit always reminds me of we are the champions. How's it going? I said, how's it going? Hey, talk to me, you bitch. Hello, are you travelers? Do you think Phoenix City is a very nice place? If you're thinking about going on, you should be careful. There is a town called Pirate Ahead. That place is filled with thugs and other nasty people. They're all a bunch of douches. A long time ago, this area was barren of life. Neither people nor Pokemon could live on this uh, land. I'm sure there wouldn't be some Pokemon that could live there, seriously. It was the mayor's grandfather, the first mayor who founded Vinyak by drawing water into this parched land. Well, at least their house actually has beds in there, and like a lot of RPGs that just don't have beds in houses, that makes no sense at all. The Jigglypuff. Isn't it weird when you think about it? The anime and you like hear how they sound like in the anime version. And then in the original games and all that, they just have those type of like, eh, 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 just kind of weird kind of cry noise really, isn't it? Just like, it's nothing what you'd expect if you freaking hear the 
how they actually sound in the anime and stuff. Completely different. Hi, did you know? No. They say that Team Snagum's hideup was blown up. Who could have done such a thing? Uh, me. It'd be funny if he said that, wouldn't it? Look at this place, it's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't this stadium, this city stadium amazing? Oh, I wish I could soon backlight a stadium as fabulous as this one. Well, even we can't do that right now, because check this out. Welcome to Phoenix Stadium. This is where we register trainers for our challenges. However, the current challenge has already started, so we are no longer accepting trainers for this challenge. Please come back and enter the next challenge. Which is not for a long ass time. Seriously, they, they like, you don't really get to battle in stadiums for, until like, um, uh, quite a ways into the game. The first one is in Pirate Town, actually. This one is actually, this, this one is actually like an entirely kind of optional one, because you, there's no real need to enter it for the most part. But it's nice and it's, Actually, not. It's probably the weakest of all the of the stadiums in terms of tough trainers. It's it's their heads look like eggs, literally eggs. With the hair combined, it looks even more perfectly like eggs. Hey, Michael, we finally found you, you filthy double-crossing traitor. Wrecking the hideout wasn't good enough for you. Will so you rip off the snag machine? You got some nerve. Who are these people, huh? Are they Team Snagum? And what did they mean by traitor, Michael? You mean... That's right, pretty lady, from Team Snagum, just like us. But he's no ordinary member. He's a snagger. He's the best in Team Snagum at snagging Pokemon without fail. And he doesn't have an egg for a head like we do. So he stands out, and he doesn't have a fabulous mustache like our boss. No way, is it true, Michael? So it is true, but it's a little shocking. Well, at least I was honest. Hey Michael, come on, hand it over. Give back the snag machine you ripped off from the hideout. A snag machine? Michael, do you really have something like that? The snag machine's built for trainers. When a trainer puts a snag machine on there, Pokeballs are converted. Ordinary Pokeballs are turned into snag balls that can steal Pokemon from their trainers in battle. Hey, you blabbermouth, keep that stuff secret. I get it, Michael. That's why these guy creeps are chasing after you. Creeps? What do you mean by creeps? God, this is getting us nowhere. If you won't give it up willingly, we'll take it back by force. Bring it on. My Pokemon are far superior to you, Wackin. What kind of name is Wackin? Seriously, the names are ridiculous in these games, aren't they? I was, <laughs> I was just drinking and coughing, actually. Like, because I keep coughing a lot lately. So I just like... <laughs> and then I just like randomly, just like... Oh, coughing. Yeah, the Pokemon. Yeah, that... Yeah. That's all I can think about whenever I kept coughing half the time. It's like, yeah, coughing. It's stupid. I don't even know why. It's kind of seems... It's kind of, and then it's just like, oh, I, yeah. Coughing, wheezing, yes, of course. That's that's why it's just like one unpleasant idea for a Pokemon. Coughing and wheezing. Oh <coughs> That should be their sound effect when they ever they get knocked out with this cough. Because the name is coughing after all. Level up boo. Man, Umbra, you can never one-shot anyone, but he made him flinch, so that's a good thing. See, Espen is all, always like my main attacker on the team. No, I'm not good enough! No. Your egg-shaped head was not enough to defeat me.
Blast you, Michael. Don't think this is over. You're gonna get that snag machine back. Just you wait. Did I say you're aware? <coughs> oh, what do you know, Michael? So you're from Team Snagum. All right, to be accurate, I should say former Team Snagum. It's okay, Michael. It doesn't matter to me who you are. After all, you're my gallant prince who rescued me when I was in trouble. So it doesn't matter besides I thought up something after listening to those creeps. Listen, Michael, you should go shopping for some Pokeballs. She just called him a gallant knight. It's official. They're a couple now, it's official. Completely official. We might as well challenge that guy over there. You can only challenge these trainers once as well. <coughs> Most of them anyway, and there aren't really that many trainers that challenge you. I'm no good at schoolwork, but I'm pretty hot stuff at Pokemon battles. You're a trainer too, aren't you? Let's duke it out, let's battle. All right, here we come, and here's no holding back. What a stupid voice to give this kid, isn't it? Hey, what the frickin' hell is with these names? Wormpool and a Silcoon, that's... Pretty lame. Nothing impressive here. After this battle, I'm gonna call it a bot. We don't even need to use any strategy in battle just yet, really, do we? We're dealing with pretty weak Pokemon here. I think he gives you a TM after this battle, I'm not entirely sure, though. <coughs> Damn it. Now, ah, freaking the coughing is returning here. It's a little annoying. These battles are pretty one-sided at the moment, aren't they? Some battles later on in the game can be really tough. But of course, like any RPG or Pokemon game, which is an RPG as well, early battles are always easy. Ouch, no, that wasn't supposed to happen. Did I say ouch instead of ouch? What the fuck was that? I didn't think I'd lose. Big guy, you're tough. I want you to have this since you're so good. Michael Obtain, TM41. Yep, I remember correctly. I'm no good at school and no good at battling. I'm not good at anything. Don't say that, man. I don't want to get yourself down on that. Zigzagoo. This town was peaceful before, but lately it's been turning rougher. It's because of the uh, thugs that live in Pirate Town, which is the next town over. They've been showing up here. I don't want to have anything to do with them. This, that sleeping dog lie, that's what I'll say. Just give him like a bit of a country accent. I know he just had that kind of country look to him. Um, I really look up to Jesse, the leader of the Pregion. He's really cool, of course he's really a tough trainer at, at, at Pokemon battles too. Well, yes, I was gonna call it a pot after that battle. Let's see what TM we got first, at least. I'll get to that uh, P star D A thing soon enough. For just jacking through your uh, torment, I say. See you next time, then. There's. A... See. Wait. Let the music play a little bit. Sounds like music that you'd like, like see like couples dancing to, like at some kind of thing. I was like, it's like, it's done, slow dance, and all that shit. But anyways, I'll see you next time, dude. See you next time.